Hi, my name is Jacqueline Reed, and the career I want to pursue in is art therapy. The way I want to do this is by majoring in psychology and minoring in art. I'd like to get my AA here at Miracosta and then transfer to finish on my four years at another college. I don't know where yet, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. Here's a brief rundown of what art therapy is. Art therapy involves techniques such as drawing, sculpting, painting, and other various art forms to help people express their emotions with the guidance of a professional. They help decode and define certain aspects of someone's behavior to better understand someone's deeper issues. So I guess basically, to sum it all up, we use art as a form of therapy and help people with whatever problems they have through the form of art. Like I said earlier, I will be majoring in psychology and minoring in art, so that means I need to take a lot of art classes and a bunch of psych classes just to be able to understand why somebody might feel a certain way or to better understand the art world and the different points of view someone can convey through art. By getting these degrees, that'll mean that at that point, I've greatly improved on my art skills as well as having enough education in psychology to be able to decipher the different types of behavior a person can display. And with this knowledge, I'll be able to kickstart my career. Since that will take me about six years of schooling to achieve, that makes this an intermediate goal. Ultimately, at the end of the day, my long-term goal would just be to help people. I would love to be that person that someone feels completely and 100% comfortable with, and if they feel that it's better for them to express how they feel through art, then I'd like to be that, that person that they can confide in. I just put on my old man glasses and a cool blazer to make myself look more professional, because we're talking about finance goals. And I feel like I have to be really cool and professional when we talk about finance things. So for my short-term goal, I kind of want to start doing it now um, and like make it like almost a long-term thing. Um, it would be to start saving money and like whenever I get birthday money or some kind of whatever money, um, I want to put like a portion of that into like a savings or just save it so i've been kind of like starting that now um every time i get like money this is like this is mostly graduation money but um i keep it in this jar and then like i'll like take out like maybe a small amount maybe like 20 dollars for whenever i need it but the goal would be to save money for something good or like a safety thing so almost like an emergency an emergency fund basically and I also do the same thing with change when I like go out to eat I'll like get change and I don't know what to do with that so hopefully it'll rack up into like more money but basically my goal would be to have an emergency amount of spending so if anything bad were to ever happen I'll have that and I just want to keep that going for the future and whatever so that would be my short-term goal. Assuming that I'm going to have a ton of student debt, considering the fact that I'll be in school for six years, plus on top of that I will be a minor in art, which entails buying a lot and a lot of supplies, um, I, for my intermediate goal, I would want to pay off my student debt, and I think that will be a really huge one. And using my short-term goal, I can probably use some of that money to go towards my student debt and my student loans and whatever else I have to pay off. As for my long-term goal, I would love to be able to have a stable income and just be secure, as well as be able to live in a house just like this. Lastly, I want to talk about how I'm going to manage stress and my health and everything else that goes on um, during this time period. So I basically want to just continue my hobbies that I'm doing now 
which has been relieving a ton of stress from me for a while, and that's sculpting, drawing, and going to the gym. Those things, I get lost in time when I do all those activities, and I want to keep doing that because I just don't worry about things anymore when I'm doing my hobbies, and so that's going to be one major thing that I'm going to continue doing probably for the rest of my life. So both of those were my short-term and intermediate goals because those are like things that I just want to keep doing for a long time, almost forever. But as for my long-term goal for my health, I want to be able to travel the world and that's a big one for me. I want to be able to travel to Italy and Amsterdam and that will be on my bucket list. And so that's my ultimate long-term goal for my health and my stress because I love traveling and that's one thing that I want to be able to do a lot. So this has been my career presentation. I hope it was super informative and kind of interesting. Um, I hope I don't change my career path down the way because this really feels like me at the moment and seems like something I really want to do. So I really hope that doesn't happen. Um, and I also want to say thank you to the people who helped me record this because this was kind of fun. Uh, that is all. You guys are cool. Thank you.